Proverbs 11.25 Be generous and you will be prosperous. Hello? Be generous and you will be prosperous. Help others and you will be helped. In Malachi 3, to 10. Now let's reflect this. Huh? This is a question answer. No? Listen, you will answer. I will just read it, then you will answer. Will a mere mortal rob God? No. Okay, the answer is also, in the multiplied version, the answer is no. But God said, yet you rob me. But you ask, how are we robbing you? Okay, this is a drama. In tithes and offerings, you are under a curse. Your whole nation, because of you are robbing, because you are robbing me. Bring the whole pie into the storehouse, that they may be food in the house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not open, if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will be no room enough to store it. <coughs> that is like. And then I remember one time when I'm giving the leadership seminar, someone stood up and asked and challenged me, Brother God, you know what? If not, the tithe is not in the Catholic faith. Mm -hmm. huh? And you know what? The tithe is only, are you aware? This is the question. Are you aware that the tithe is only in the Old Testament? And I said, yes. Thank you for reminding me. Now I will give you a choice. You're older than you. In the New Testament, in Luke chapter 18, verse 18 to 24, there is, a, a Jewish, there is a very rich man who wants to follow the Lord. Very rich. Lord, I want to follow you. And Jesus said, you really want to follow me? Yes, sir. But how can I follow you? Then Jesus said, obey the Ten Commandments. Lord, since I'm young, I will only obey the Ten Commandments. And because he was so rich, the Lord looked at his face so lovingly and he said, you still need to do one more thing. Go home. Sell all your properties and come back. And when tell it, give it to the court and come back and follow. Now, that is the New Testament. The Old Testament is give your tithe and your love of freedom. The New Testament is you go home and sell all your properties, give it to the court. Now my question is this, which one do you like? The old or the new? <laughs> which one do you like? Are you okay now with the old? <laughs> You know, in the New Testament, you don't classify the old in the new anymore. In fact, in the New Testament, the message is this. When you give, give your totality. Give the fullness of you. Okay? Yes, it's not tight anymore. Because it needs to be more than the tights. And do not be afraid of doing that because, again, you know what I'm sharing with you is my life. Okay? The moment I receive, no? The, my, 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 my income, my salary, okay? right away, I remove the tight and the level. They got tight and love of them. I just don't have time to talk about secret of prosperity. My wife, before, before we back on this advantage, uh, way back on. Every time the patient pays the, 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 the bill, right away she has a, she has a back uh, at the corner and she separates the times. And I can say that truly God is faithful to his times. In Jeremiah, I want to I am, you know, I, I am guarding and watching my word and I will not take back my word until it happens. And the promise of the Lord is when you give, gift will be given to you. This is your second check and I'm pressed up and I know you. Amen? Amen. Are you okay now with the tithes? Yes. Or do you want the testament? Yes. 